All right, tonight we want to explore on um, critiquing how bands sometimes change band members, right? Or one of them dies, like with ACDC's frontman Bon Scott and was replaced by Brian Johnson, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a comparison of their sounds, right? Now, we're also talking about impersonation a lot, too. <laughs> so you know what I'm eating here. Mm -hmm. So we're, we got to do a voice comparison, FBI, <laughs> to see why they sound different, too, right? And, yeah, I'm teaching impersonation that, that they should be able to sound the same. Is that because of the soundboard or something? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Hope you're not worshipping the image of the beast <laughs> that can speak but isn't alive. No. But has not breath in its body. And... Though it's an image and uh, they're worshipping today. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not against watching the movie, right? I am against you worshipping the movies, right? If you understand what I'm eating, right? Alright? So, mm -hmm. Okay, mm hmm Now, mm hmm For instance, Bon Scott did TNT. Mm hmm Um, but I'm sure, you know, after he passed away, Brian Johnson had to do it too. Mm hmm I wanna compare vocal sounds, right? Things like that. Mm-hmm. 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 And we should be able to do this. Why? Because mm -hmm. I'm critiquing them, right? Right. So we want a lyrics video. Because mm -hmm. we also want to teach you the video. And we got to critique the music as a whole. Legally, legally. <laughs> Okay, so that's called the opening riff. You got the guitar mm -hmm, with a guy in the background saying, Oi! 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 Now, if you're an impersonator, that's what you do, FBI. <laughs> it's not criminal, no. In fact, it should be under parody or comedy, right? Do it, do it. <laughs> Hey! Hey! 
Oi! 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 Ai! 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 So, mm -hmm. This is Bon Scott's voice. See me right out of the sunset on ya got a TV screen. Now I'm doing it kind of loud, so doing a little bit different than the soundtrack there. Mm -hmm. Up for all that I can get, if you know what I mean. Where would you let them be? Alright. <laughs> now we're going back. See me right out of the sunset. Sunset on your color TV screen. That's all that I can get. If you know what I mean. We were to the left of me. We were to the right. He got no gun. He got no knife. But don't you start no fight. Cause I'm TNT, dynamite, TNT, and I win the fight, TNT, I'm a power load, TNT, watch me explode! I, 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 <laughs> me, body and clean. I'm a wanted man, public enemy number one, understand, so lock up your daughter, lock up your wife, lock up your back door, and run for your life, you know that's about, mm -hmm. back in town, so don't you mess me around, cause I'm TNT. I'm dynamite, TNT, I'm in the fight, TNT, I'm a power load, TNT, watch me explode! Well, it keeps going on like that, TNT, oi, 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 <laughs> things like that. Mm -hmm. This is after all a critique. <laughs> And that's pretty much the main musical part. Well, there's some more lyrics. Oh, it goes back to I'm Dynamite, TNT, oi. And I win the fight. Oi, oi, TNT, oi. I'm a power load, oi, oi. <laughs> TNT, watch me flood, right? So we're doing this under critique, and under copyright law. <laughs> this is legal, YouTube. <laughs> this is legal, record execs. <laughs> And it's really the only way you can do it, Lily, I know. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. here's Brian Johnson's version of it, though. Mm -hmm. We want to do it that way, too. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, that's thunder shit. Whoops. Right, both of on the shot. <laughs> ah. Okay, stop. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a good guitar riff, see? <laughs> it keeps starting and stopping because I'm trying to pause it. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. There we go. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. Gain rate zero. Lose our buys. All the electrolytes. Zero sugar. Okay. Oh, here it is. There was, there was one live, but it might. Yeah. This is from Live at River Plate. This is 
his life. And I'm always going to get another shot. Now it's just to show how in the music industry they don't want you impersonating even your own artists, right? Right? You know what I mean? If you switch artists or they you know, people. Mm. Oi! 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 Oh yeah! Got a TV screen! Of all the acting You know what I mean? Now Brian's voice is different. Left of me! Women to the right! Ain't got no gun! No knife, but don't you start no fight. So I'm TNT, dynamite. I'm with the fighter. Okay, I don't know how much I can do with that, but you get the point, right? Brian and again, Bon Scott sound different, right? Right? You, you see the point. And. <clears throat> They won't let Brian sound like Bon Scott for some reason, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> Which, you know, I'm not critiquing, okay, why? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sorry, I'm critiquing why. <laughs> he can't. Because mm -hmm. impersonation has always been a part of music, right? It's called canon, Im Im imitation, in other words, right? Now, some say imitation is a sincere form of flattery. Mm hmm now, there's another thing called mocking, but mocking, okay, is a negative parody, right? Mm -hmm. Like, kind of, mm, Jimmy Fallon kind of does when he changes the word to a song and makes it into a joke, right? Now, that's a negative mocking parody, right? <laughs> usually, usually. All right. <clears throat> now, but for some reason, okay... I can sound like both Bon Scott and Brian, right? Right? You see what I mean, right? Um, if I want to. But I'm more used to Bon Scott's version. Um, but he passed away. Mm hmm. Right? Right. The ante. Watch this I'm dirty, mean, and mighty unclean. I'm a wanted man. Public enemy number one. Do you Don't you understand? Lock up your daughters. Lock up your wives. Run up your back door and run for your life. It's back in town. Don't you mess me around. Cause I'm TNT, I'm dynamite, TNT, and I win the fight. TNT, I'm power load. Sorry, I'm having things happen, interruptions in there. TNT, watch this loud. Now, mm -hmm. I like more Brian's You Shoot Me All Night longer Thunderstroke, though, too. I mean, I ain't saying I don't like his scene, right? At all, at all. But I'm saying, okay, when he does Bon Scott stuff, he's not allowed... To even sound like Bon Scott, even if he can or can't, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just wondering about that. Mm -hmm. Why they're not allowed to. If they're kind of the, mm -hmm, you know, filling in for someone or someone that lead singers no longer part of the band, kind of like a rock star, yeah, yeah. Or, you know, Lou Graham and 
in Foreigner, and then sometimes they replace him <laughs> from for a falling out or whatever, right? Or um, Steve Perry from Journey, right? They had a falling out. When I was here, getting older, I've been home in the year of oh, more. Oh, oh, I hope it holds on a little longer. Oh. Alright, so that's from uh, Will in the Sky from Journey, right? I think I was on one of their albums. I don't know, I forget which one, but that's naming the at least the artists, you know, themselves is acknowledging enough to know who you're talking about. <laughs> if you listen to music anyway, I know. <sighs> mm, it should be in general, right? <laughs> now, you might not know the band's label, mm -hmm. but they know all that, right? That's technical mumbo jumbo sometimes, right? When you're just trying to critique that you like the song, right? You like impersonating Brian and Bond, right? And you're just asking questions about it, too, right? Like, why can't, as a reporter, right? Why can't Brian sound like Bond, right? If he's doing the Bond Scott song, right? Which TNT is a Bond Scott song. I'm not saying he sounds bad as Brian or the, <laughs> um Typically, people don't sing in one voice, but Impersonate, right? Just asking questions about why they can't, which is reporting, by the way. <laughs> a reporter asks a question, right? <laughs> why can't Ryan impersonate Bond? Mm -hmm. Mr. Scott. Mm -hmm. and I'm doing it with respect to the artist as well. I just don't understand certain, you know, quirks you got there mm -hmm. in the industry. Mm -hmm. You know, if you do a, like, brief clips, right, right, like, even when Eddie Murphy did uh, Stevie Wonder, right, on SNL, he just sings some Ebony and Hathaway, which is maybe a Paul McCartney song, but anyway, <laughs> or, uh, that's more for Paul, mm -hmm. Stevie just comes in more towards the middle or end, right, <laughs> anyway, anyway, right, that's more about Paul, mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though Ebony is first, Ivory is first, actually. <laughs> Ebony is <and> Ebony. <laughs> um, anyway, that's a little, you know, something I want y'all think about, too, though. If you're kind of consider yourself a higher class musician than Stevie Wonder, like Paul might, mm -hmm, you might sing first, then Stevie sings after you, right? Mm, things like that. But again, that's just, you know, musical hierarchy, I guess, right? <laughs> Things like that, I'm trying to understand, right? Now, these are also things we learned about music in school, if you ask. So, you have a double job, don't you? You got to police this shit, huh? <laughs> That's what I mean. Hoover kind of created a monster with music and movies, right? And trying to control it the way he is. It, it's not something that the government can regulate the way they are and really successfully enforce because then you got to worry about the Constitution and that you're not breaking it yourselves, right? And trying to enforce it, right? Because if I'm doing it the way legal copyright law says I can do it, you can't do nothing about that because this is just one of their songs. Even mm -hmm, you... Shit, me <laughs> all night long is always ACDC, I know. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> like I said, I can. Excuse my, you know, Michael Winslow there. Mm -hmm. That's me, not the recording, right? Right. <laughs> now, I have seen Michael sometimes dubbed movies, but I know he doesn't do that live, right? right? 
you don't dub, uh, no. <laughs> or that's the tape, <laughs> you know what I mean, it's like Millie Vanilli, <laughs> Millie Vanilli was using a tape when they sang and they got caught, right? that's why they got their Grammy sucking away, mm -hmm. they couldn't really sing, <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's why sometimes people wonder if artists are real or fake. <laughs> Things like that. Ah, mm -hmm. Not only that, if you heard about My Fair Lady, I know. I think it was Audrey Hepburn was allowed to sing. And someone else sung for her. Mm -hmm. I mean, originally she did sing, but then they overlapped her voice. <laughs> did you know that? <laughs> they edited so well, though, you didn't know that, did you? Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> They can do that now. <laughs> right. They're, they're good editors. <laughs> and that's what we're talking about here. Editing, right? The material. Make it sound good, right? Nothing wrong with that. But are you honest about the editing involved, right? Can you show it like I do? Like with Little Drummer Boy. <laughs> Someday to me It's on See, a real person can't sing multiple voices like Megan Trainor did <laughs> on top of herself unless she's using the tracks, right? There's at least seven in the studio, right? Independently reeled. And, uh, one's for guitar, one's for the voice, and one's for the piano or whatever else you want to use. Bass, or drums, or right? Um, even if you want to put it in an orchestra, you could do that, right? <laughs> and have one track for that and then one track for the singer, right? <laughs> At least that's what I would imagine. You know, I've never been in the studio to do all that, right? I'm not officially, I don't know, or ever, except with um, SCAD. And even then, they toned my voice down because I sound like Hank Williams Jr. <laughs> when I went into the studio. Mm -hmm. Well, they toned that down with my song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I hear what you did. <laughs> I hear what you did. <laughs> I know what I did too. I know. I'm testing you. Because I know I can record that on video, right? And so I'm like, it doing hey. <laughs> All my rowdy friends have settled down. <laughs> right, it's just what I've learned to do. I mean, it's like, this is a song that pop in my head like a melody, right? <laughs> and I can imitate the sound. I don't know. <laughs> now, I don't know if that's a problem musically because it's used to not be in them. In fact, it is how we learn to sing a canter. Right? right? You know what that is? The church and the choir in Europe. It's how they sound, right? You even hear it on, uh, what's that song? <laughs> uh, in mm. or whatever, and then, boop, 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 uh, Tiny girl. Uh, the bomb of the glasses, yeah. Her, her. Where did it? Something like that. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can do the wolves and the boys, but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can do both girls and boys' voices. <laughs> okay. I was alright, Mr. Ray. <laughs> I learned to do it all, man. I'm listening to Bell Blakes, you know. I'm taking the thrills. Y'all doing something with him, too? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know, Bugs Bunny. Mm hmm. <laughs> I got a <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so a little bit more like Brenda Vett, but you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Well, she don't do voices, the other girl uh, from Blossom, right? And um, Penny <laughs> is, uh, you know, party girl, so. <laughs> but, uh, you know. <laughs> How <Howard>! No. <laughs> yeah. 
It ain't bomb too, probably. <laughs> but that's what I learned to do. It was a, um, hey, Pinocchio, from the Bulldog Pizza, from the Bulldog just a lot of voices in me, I guess, right? Because I'm trying to impersonate, right? I, I got into that around the third grade, like I said, right? Um, I forgot who my voices were. Tarzan was one of them. Oh! I'm going to do now. <laughs> or Captain Keep me. Unga Bunga. Captain Keep me! I'm about, you know what, uh, seven or eight around that age, right? <laughs> I don't know, six, seven or eight. It's a pizza. Well, I'll get that, Rusty Bird. It's faster there. Thought I'd put in Rascally like Yosemite Sam. <laughs> Ooh, I hate that varmint. <laughs> and of course now, boy, a foghorn leghorn. <laughs> boy, I know I changed a little bit. Right. <laughs> I say now, you listen here, boy. Um, <laughs> you need a sparky gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all, folks. I keep the wabbit, the wabbit the dead. <laughs> Number five. <food. laughs> what do you expect from my opera? Happy ending? <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> so, again, yeah, I learned to do all this growing up. Now, y'all ain't worried about it. <laughs> Government. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Not real impersonators, not real impersonators. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> what can you do with this soundboard thing? <laughs> you edited a um, few people, Millie Vanilli's kind of lip syncing, right? <laughs> They're on music we can't really see. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> That's a reporter's question. <clears throat> They're not answering. <laughs> Bye.